Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Age of Wonders 4 Episode 9. So, we, uh, we have more exploring and expanding to do here. Um, so, actually we haven't, you know, we gotta hit the end turn button first. Aha! Oh, so they're just attacking me, but the, the, the ones on there aren't going to join in the fun? That's actually fantastic. Let's auto combat this one. Yeah. Barely an inconvenience. Transformations. Yeah, I know that. We did just research one. Race transformation, that is. But now that we got rid of the little things here, I think we're in better shape. A little damage on our uh, our one guy is not going to stop me. And besides, they're just going to spawn more. Astral Blood. Attunement. Gains fortune. So yeah, the more spells we cast. Uh. Battle Mage units and support units. Uh, let's shuffle. Where are my arrows? Dang it. Where where are my arrows? There's there. There's my arrows. That's the whole reason I took that tome. Um, we will uh, start working on the astral blood. It's gonna take a little while for that to cook, but might as well start now. All right, let's take out this great bird nest. Manual combat, please, since this is a big one. And this will stop this nonsense. All right, so what are, what's the deal with these guys? What, what do they do? Carrion bird. Low maintenance, eats the dead like we do. Melee strikes, but no like debuffs or spell like things. This is probably going to be pretty easy, but we shall see. Um, they probably have a lot of movement, so our archers are going to get harassed. Um, do we want to uh, group hug? I do think we want to group hug. Um, actually, yeah, we want to group hug like right here. Oh yeah, um, summon an animal. <laughs> you got birds? We got our own birds. A thunderbird! Fantastic. Oh man, yeah. Okay, that was a that was a good uh, good pick right there. Yeah, we'll get you in the center. Uh, who are we gonna awaken? Probably, probably the archers. Good idea. I should have done my twin awakening freebie power. Actually, we'll put you in the back since you now have the better range. You can go up. Oh, you can't go up front. Hmm. Well, these guys can move out of the way. We'll move them here for the moment, which will let these guys... No, no, they can't get to the front. All right, we're going to have our defenders a little out of, uh, out of sorts here. All right, not a group, not a full group hug, but still good enough. Um, and yeah, you know what? Yeah, you will awaken you and top you off. All 
All right, this thing had an AOE, I noticed. Um, units in a one hex range sustain damage or displaced by one hex, have the defense mode results and demolishes. Oh my God, I can hit all of them. That's disgusting. I love it. Go Thunderbird. And then move them all forward. <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, let's get our, our freebie awakening here. And actually, um, do we want to group hug? We don't really need to group. Well, we can group hug. Because anyone who got hit before is just going to get strengthened. All right, so what we do, we start with this one. They're already flanked, um, but they might get distracted further. Yup. Which means you're just gonna destroy them. Beautiful. Now they can eat carrion, so... Or we can just... Can we... We can hit the Ray's dead here. That will deny them the corpse and give us an extra attacker and give them something to, to attack that isn't, I don't care if they, uh... hmm, it'll kill them. I'd rather kill them if we hit, the, hit our shots. There we go. Don't know if we can get to them, but I'll come over here to prevent them from, uh... oh, we do get to control our zombie. Yeah, let's just take a bite out of crime. Nice. And yeah, they're probably just going to swarm and attack the zombie, which I don't care. Or, or not. Never mind. Yep, they're wailing on the zombie. All right, so what are, what's your deal? You're affected. So it is a ranged attack. Yeah, we just, we just zap them here. We, um, I want the, uh, this guy, yeah, there we go. Now they're already awakened, so yeah. I want to get this guy distracted, there we go. Take a little scooch here, finish him off. I do want the killing blow experience to go to our real units. Good enough. And dead. Fantastic. Barely a scratch because our zombie took most of the, the counter attack. 
Godbreaker. Heavy charge strike. Oh boy. And an arc fight. I think we already have that. And we got a wind rager out of, out of the deal. Uh, a fighter unit plus a bunch of materials. Yeah, we'll take that. We could go and attack this stack and have the, uh, the wind rider. Yeah, we already have an arc, uh, arc fire lot. Um, but you do need to level up. Oh yeah, these guys get the same here. Um, yeah, endurance training. Some of these are on fire. You know, we auto combat this. Easy peasy. Now, unfortunately, those were all magic summons. So we didn't get to eat much, but you know what? More battles, more winnings, more us. And that's not even all the fighting we're doing this turn. We gotta, we gotta fight here. Um, what do we got here? When a defending unit dies, all adjacent hostile units suffer condemned. Ooh. Okay. Yes, yeah, this this will be fun. And we got our archer joining in on the side here. The blood blood pool here. <laughs> Did the unicorn just move with a rainbow? I love it. All right, what are these things? These these things look like they convert. Ooh, okay. This thing needs to die now. Uh, and it says non-hero unit. It can't convert our hero, so we kind of want to get our hero. First off, let's do a twin awakening. And now we make our spitter. If this thing gets converted, that's actually okay. I'm not too, I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over that. But the fact that there's two, three things that convert, can, can mind control convert? Um, we are, we just need to make sure our, our uh, main troops are not the ones being targeted by that. Let's get you into low foliage here, see what that does. We're going to get you into foliage. Here's our stray archer, which we can get back here. All right, we can make our animals. If we go here. We can do a free awaken for our archers. And then we can make an amino. You. You're going to go. Actually, you're going to go here. You, you're gonna move over here. Because we're gonna see if that lets these pigs get there. No, they can't. Because I want the, I wanted the, the pigs to get in on that. All right, fine. Um, well here, let's awaken We'll awaken the pigs. I don't think we're going to do a group hug in that sense, but we might. All 
All right. Now's our chance to, to kill the mind controllers. And we can we can do our own spell, but let's see. Let's use this thing, because this is the thing that gives us disgusting bonuses across the board. I mean, we could... You know, you know what? We are going to group hug since they're, we're, we're doing a double barrel bonusing here. All right, we're going to go up here and we're just going to plug the hole. We're not going to attack because we want to get up here. Yeah, we're gonna get these guys, the mine, mine flayers in the back. See if we can get them distracted. Nope, it's all right. Yeah, we're gonna go up this way. See if we can get them distracted. They got them distracted, good. There we go. Or am I the one that got condemned? No, they they got condemned. Oh no, it's a hostile unit. So it would hurt me. It basically blows them up to to hurt me. But I was nowhere near them, so it didn't do anything. Um, I gotta I gotta remember to um, to frenzy these guys, my Razorbacks. I'm gonna send the spiders after this one. We're just gonna we're gonna have you nibble. It's a summon unit. We got the we got the defenses in there. All right, who are we going to? You need to move up. Yeah, we'll get you in fully. Actually, you know what? Here the pigs. What am I doing? You can you can move as far as you want. Actually, let's move these pigs up. We'll have both of the pigs target here. Could also t could also spread it around to get the bleeding spread. There's the bleeding. Yeah, because he can't really hit the guys in the back. Yeah, let's go this way and see if we can get some more bleed stacks. Yep, more bleed. And then these crows will go for a flank. Yep, I was afraid of that. And they're just gonna fly right through. All right, so... How do we kill these guys quickly? I think we are just going to mark as prey. Can the eagles get to them? No. And these guys, oh no, they're in, they're trapped. Yeah, all right, so we go up here. 
Yeah, we'll take the attack of opportunity, that's fine. Hmm. We do this. Unleash the beast, strengthened. Yeah, we have to step away, but then we can go for a kill. Actually, let's see if we can free up our, our friends here. Yeah, we'll step away and take an attack. Now that's not going to kill them, but we can get these guys in. Oh, that is going to kill them. Hmm, all right. So I want to weaken these guys a bit more and then let... And I don't want to kill my own quill bars. All right, well, you know what? If these kill the unicorns, they kill the unicorns. Oh, if they had one more movement, they could go and... I don't think we're going to be able to rapid fire them. I mean, unless we long distance our friend back here. Oh, almost. I mean, I'll hit him with a bleeding. But they won't get the free follow up. That's too bad. Now we might as well get some attacks in. And they're blind. Doesn't quite kill them though. Yeah, let's get the bleed on them. See if the bleed will take them out. All right, bleed is not going to take them out. Now, if we kill these guys, they're gonna blow us up with their martyrdom thing. That would give me only one shot. Yeah, we'll kill these guys. Huh, so I can't, can't Spirit Blast from here, this guy? Well, we'll try. Out of range, yep. Lots of poisons, lots of sundered defenses, but they're still alive. Q 
Yeah. They both died of poison and bleeding. I love it. All that's left is this dude. Yeah, because we get control of our guy back. We'll just take him out. Well, bam. Beautiful. All right, we gotta we gotta repair and heal. You, I'm gonna send you just by yourself down here to grab this treasure chest, Ooh, eagle mount, and then go just take a peek at this watchtower. I know that's normally a scout's job, but that's okay. Yeah, what is this thing? Archon blood. That's that's why everything was all weird. Yeah, you guys need to repair and heal. You, oh yeah, you can't, you can't handle a, an eagle mount. You guys are pretty much good. Man, this is gonna be an all combat episode here. Treasured for leather. The spawn of the cost of growth hatched a few days ago. Gold vein is overrun with writhing bodies. That gross of mucus is young costume have been feasting on Gortus piglets, judging by the partial dissolve. How could anyone survive this infestation? It's foolish to believe that Alkan is still alive. Oh, a nature affinity check. Oh. Hmm. I didn't realize there were like ability checks. Yeah, let's let's try the nature affinity because we have good nature affinity here. Deciding fate, failure. I don't know what the odds were on that, but that was kind of pooish. This isn't even that that big of a uh, thing here. I'm gonna auto it. Ooh. Am I going to accept a lost quill bar and a lost archer? Yeah, kind of actually. These things are annoying. I do not want to face the two spiders, and that's probably accurate to what actually happened. Plus, we get to eat, we get to eat good. More shaman calls out of the hiding spot. We'll make Chickatson thrive? Why are you giving it to Chickatson? The, the new town is nearby. Um, we get a bunch of war shaman. No, we don't want the alignment. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, Chickenson to thrive, cause we need to build a pantheon, and apparently that's good enough to build it instantly. <laughs> uh, from all that built up production, um, yeah, we can keep we can keep building here. Actually, I want to get in the Armory Smith Guild. Because the Smith's Guild gives us draft and food per forester, and we have a ton of foresters here. Um, so let's go armory for even more. Uh, but yeah, now we could go Solar Nexus, which is actually not that, well, no, not that good. It's not that good. But we do need to replace those quill, those Razorbacks, rather. And we have an Awakener. Ooh. Exp 
exposing light. Oh, a debuffer. Then with a lot of range, let's get one of them on the Kyoto. See what we can do with that. You, my friend, I'm gonna have you just chill for a moment. Mm. You chill for a moment. This guy, we're gonna come help reinforce that. All right, Mana Obelisk. Oh, and we can expand. I've been meaning to expand into this fishery for a while because it's got that special resource here for extra food. We're not going to go nuts with a seafaring. Uh... All right, what can we get out of here? Um, ten, does not have the 10 population yet. Still good enough on that front. Mana and production. Oh, we can get the mint. Let's get let's cook get the mint cooking. Let's check the rest of our there. So we got the armory cooking here. Artisan workshops cooking in Wilkinson. Or Wilkins Mont. Aha, Zephyrville needs. Uh, let's see, you're at 53. You don't need your bathhouse yet. It will, eventually. Yeah, we have the Sun Shrine now. We do need to take out this Serpent Cavern, because we might annex it into this city, or build another city over here. I mean, there's a lot of goodies over here that we can annex. Not quite enough to get the uh, Pantheon. Uh, I'll wait for the... You seriously don't have any Foresters to boost the... You know what? We're going to get the low-hanging fruit anyway. Yeah, we have... The Sun Shrine is actually going to be what gives us a lot of something. Yeah, Sun Shrine, one, two, because yeah, these two counts as research posts, and then the Sun Shrine counts as one as well. Rune Carver's Camper Quarry, yeah, we're not doing that. And I don't know if the, yeah. And we could get the Light Forge. Let's go for one more Wild Speaker here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna annex this one. Even though it is so much better to annex some of these others, this gives us our, our capital bonuses, which are huge. About to vet, um Yeah, that's fine. Other rulers. All right, good to know. All right, looking good. So in our next episode, let's see if we can't spin by, get Serpent's Cavern uh, situated here. What is their thing anyway? When uh, counts as a quarry. Oh yeah, this is this is the reason why I wasn't going to do it right away. Um, was um, going to do it in a, a city that had a lot of quarries, and we don't have a lot of quarries here. Actually, that might we might want to annex that with Wilkinsmont because we both of these have quarries, and yeah, this the, these won't be quarries, but a bunch of the others can be all quarries along here. Um, and then each of these will give uh, 
a bunch of bonuses for quarry. So yeah, that works out for me. And Sevierville has plenty more room to grow here. So it does not need to reach out and grab these. But we better hurry up with Wilkinsmont because this is a lot of resources to be left on the table. All right, folks, if you guys like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya.